congratulations, by the way, on becoming OBEs. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> My guess is old, boring entertainers. <laughs>《Ned》。《》《I'm eight。Where are you from? Maidstone. Oh. Who's here with you today? Well, I'm with my mum, my dad, mm -hmm. my stepmom, my sister, my other sister, and my brother. Fantastic. Do you perform for friends and family? Do you get up in school and do shows? Yeah. I think it was probably about two years ago that I started and I practiced with my dad and mum with bananas and hairbrushes as microphones. My whole school knows that I'm at Britain's Got Talent today. And when I told my friends, they all went... If I got through, I'd be like, yes, forever. It's like smiley face times a million. The stage is yours, sir. Good luck. Oh, I love him already. Come on, Ned. Why were people so excited about that talking dog on Britain's Got Talent? Amanda Holden's been on it for years. <laughs> and deck backstage, but I'm never quite sure which one's supposed to be the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's killing us all! <laughs> Alicia? Oh, no. Yeah. Alicia laughing? Oh, no. Alicia not dancing. <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me a lot of my dad. He's a cross dresser. He gets especially cross when he can't find his socks. <laughs> <laughs> I was really worried for David Williams when he swam in the River Thames for charity because of all that garbage going in his mouth. But since I've been watching BGT, I'm relieved it's all coming out again. <laughs> Well, some people said that my audition was a bit rude for a kid. So in the end, the producers gave me this. Here goes. What do you call a duck with a broken leg? Lame! <laughs> Who wrote this rubbish? So please help me get through to the final, because I'm going to need a lot more time. Oh, no, I would never press my button. Save the trouble. <laughs> I would never press my button. At my audition, I only managed to get one joke out before I heard that sound that we all dread. But after a while, <laughs> you get used to Alicia's laugh. <laughs> I love being on BGT. All these losers desperate to be famous. <laughs> or as they're otherwise known, the judges. <laughs> Savage! <laughs> Savage! <laughs> I know, I know. Don't be rude to the elderly. <laughs> It's my birthday.
birthday next week and my auntie gave me a present. She said don't open it until your actual birthday because it's bad luck. I thought, that's a nasty thing to get a kid for their birthday. <laughs> and then there's my nan. She said on her to my granddad's big brown eyes. <laughs> that made me cry. Because what I really wanted was his money. <laughs> Being up here, bright light shining my eyes, and that's only from Simon's teeth. <laughs> but he does look good for his age. He's intelligent, talented, generous, and humble. He told me himself. <laughs> I took my dog to the vet because he's poorly, and the vet said if you don't treat him immediately. He could die. So I took him to Disneyland. <laughs> but he still died. <laughs> but I soon cheered up, because I got to meet my favourite double act. They really make me laugh. Eventually, I had to say, Holly, Philip. <laughs> I've got to go. I'm meant to be meeting Anton Deck in an hour. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way, on becoming OBEs. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> My guess is old, boring entertainers. <laughs> so, that's good. so that's good news, isn't it, David? Because there's a strong chance that you'll be next. <laughs> <laughs> now, you probably wondering why my parents let me get away with being so cheeky. But what you should be wondering is how I started off this performance in a grey jacket <laughs> and ended it wearing a camouflage t-shirt. Who here is feeling savage? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just one quick question. Who here absolutely hates doing the Mexican wave? I want a show of hands starting over here and moving our way across. <laughs> See, it wasn't that bad. Magici Magicians are doing so well on the show this year, so I've decided to do some magic of my own. Oh, wait, um, David, um, here I have an envelope. Okay. Could you just please look after this? Don't let anybody see it and protect it. Of course. With all your heart. Thank you. <laughs> so, for my first trick, I'm going to make the judges' smiles disappear. <laughs> oh, wait. Already did that by getting through to the final. <laughs> calm down, calm down. After my last performance, I decided to give you guys a break. Hooray! Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's long enough. I just want to thank Ant and Deck for all the money that they spent voting for me to get through. <laughs> the length some people go to just to make themselves look taller. <laughs> How scary were those clowns last night? I haven't seen wacky costumes and terrifying makeup like that since Sharon Osbourne was a judge. <laughs> You've got to love shows like Britain's Got Talent and X Factor. Where else you get to see that tedious singing robot? Gary Barlow. <laughs> I was at the school disco and sat by the dance floor was a girl that I really liked. 
So I plucked up the courage to ask her if she wanted to dance. And she did, which was lucky for me, because otherwise I wouldn't have a place to sit. <laughs> One Direction have gone their separate ways. That's ironic. <laughs> now, 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 for those of you who don't know what ironic means, Simon, <laughs> it's like these guys judging a talent competition. <laughs> I'd like to remind you to vote Ned. I'd love to have a chance to perform in front of royalty. But if I did, I know it wouldn't be Prince Philip. That dude has got some savage material. <laughs> but he's retired from his royal duties. So who's going to travel the world offending people now? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> David, yes. do me a solid and post that to Buckingham Palace. <laughs> it, it's just a letter of apology for what I might say if I win. 